Honorable colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to launch this film. It shows the United Nations in action in an area that all too often goes unnoticed, the prevention of industrial accidents. The threat of industrial accidents exists everywhere, including in countries and sectors with a stringent safety standards. The consequences of such accidents can be severe and are often deadly. The United Nations Economic Commission for Europe's Industrial Accidents Convention actively supports countries in preventing such accidents and in mitigating their effects if they occur. It focuses particularly on cross-border cooperation between countries in this regard. Through the Convention's assistance program, countries in Eastern and Southeastern Europe, the Caucasus and Central Asia are improving their industrial safety standards. The Convention has been successful, but more needs to be done. In particular, climate change increases the probability of extreme weather events, which may pose new risks to industrial safety. This film highlights the importance of industrial safety and the role that policymakers, industry, and the public can play in promoting and implementing it. I hope you will be inspired to do even more to protect people and the planet and help to build a safer future for all. Thank you. The Rhine, the lifeblood of the Swiss city of Basel and its enduring landmark. As one of Europe's most important trading routes, it's had a huge influence on the development of the city. But in 1986, a fire at the Sandos agrochemical plant in the city caused one of the worst transboundary environmental disasters in Western Europe in decades. The large volumes of water used by firefighters leaked into the Rhine and created a red toxic plume 70 kilometers long. The pollutants destroyed the river's flora and fauna, killing hundreds of thousands of fish. Daniel Bonomi is from the Swiss Federal Office for the Environment. The water was uh, contaminated with pesticides and uh, destroyed uh, life in the river uh, on the length of 250 kilometers. The water went uh, to France, Germany and up to Holland. The Sandos fire demonstrated the need not only for enhanced enforcement in the legislation, but better cross-border cooperation between countries. Since the early 1990s, the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, UNECE, has worked to prevent industrial accidents and especially their effects on neighbouring countries. Its work led to the adoption of the Convention on the Transboundary Effects of Industrial Accidents in 1992 which entered into force in 2000. Since then, parties and UNEC member states meet regularly in the framework of the convention to exchange information and to discuss its implementation and development. Chris Dykins was chair of the convention from 2008 to 2014. The convention, it's mainly about, um, let's say, improving the industrial safety within the whole region. The convention is creating awareness Transboundary cooperation is uh, very important. Pollutants, they do not respect any border. So you have to be prepared for such uh, an incident in your own country, but you have to also to collaborate with your neighboring country. One of the biggest challenges in the UNEC region is the difference in safety standards and legislation between countries. Claudia Kamka is from the UNECE's Industrial Accidents Convention Secretariat. The UNECE region, which is quite diverse, and uh, um, there are countries like in Western Europe which uh, already have a very advanced level on the implementation of the convention, but this is not everywhere the case, like um, in the other regions, uh, like in Caucasus or the um, uh, Central Asia. In 2004, an assistance program was introduced to help countries in transition improve their level of industrial safety. The program provides tools that give countries the opportunity to assess their level of industrial safety and to develop an action plan to improve it. 
fact-finding missions and workshops facilitate the exchange of experiences and good practice. Sandra Ashcroft is chair of the working group on implementation. Collaborative working is essential. A key example of that is a project that we have running called the Danube Delta project. Uh, it covers the Ukraine, Romania and Moldova and they are working together to look at how to identify sites which have major accident potential and then what kind of control mechanisms need to be in place on those sites and then how to respond in the event that there was an incident. As well as reaching out to policymakers, industry and NGOs, the convention also organises training for students. A summer school was organised in the Russian Federation aimed at enhancing the awareness of university students of the importance of industrial safety and the continuous effort required to safeguard the protection of people and the environment. We uh, learn a lot of stuff, you know. It's very interesting to uh, exchange our ideas. It was really interesting and useful for us to learn about such a new method as checklists and now we know how to apply them. Since the convention came into force, Awareness of industrial safety has increased across the whole of the UNECE region, fostering a growing sense of solidarity, especially between upstream and downstream countries. Well, of course, accidents can happen again, but uh, lessons were learned from this uh, incident and uh, measures are, uh, preventive measures are taken. The UNECE region is safer because of the convention. The UNECE hopes the implementation of the convention will continue to support countries make industrial accidents rarer and less severe, so that major industrial accidents, such as the one that took place in Basel in 1986, never happen again.